Hey everybody, I'm going to take you down the road with me today. It is a beautiful day. It's going to be warm today. I don't know what happened to spring. Uh, it went straight from winter to summer. But anyhow, i got to go down the road to the dollar store and the post office and uh, the regular store to get a few things. And then I have to come home. I have a few things to do at the house. I gotta wash clothes and James says he wants hamburgers for supper so that'll be easy and um, but I hope y'all having a great week James and I are doing good uh, <clears throat> the other night honey we, was, we found ourselves down at Walmart about 12 o'clock at night you know James has been talking about that Avatar movie since way before it even came out I mean he had all the news on and everything and uh, so, you know, it came out on Thursday and uh, on DVD, so uh, Wednesday night, honey, about, <laughs> about 11.30, we took a ride on down to Walmart so he could be one of the first people to purchase that silly movie. And, you know, we didn't get home to probably uh, 1.30 in the morning. I can't get my camera right. Dagnabbit. It's, it's all crooked. Well, it's just going to have to be cricket. <laughs> Rubber crossing. But anyway, we didn't get home to about 1.30. And do you know that he wanted to watch that thing? So, what we do? We sat and watched it. And you know, it's almost a four-hour movie. A three-hour movie. It's 4.30 before we uh, got in the bed. <laughs> and you know what? I think he was disappointed in it. I really do. I, I mean, it was a good movie, but... It was not a spectacular movie, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm glad we bought the DVD and didn't go to see it. It was a good movie, but uh, I think James was expecting a lot more from it. But anywho, <clears throat> James is getting ready. I think he's going to go back over to Joshua's, uh, not next week, but... Maybe the week at the week of his birthday. James's birthday is uh, May sixth, and uh, he'll be fifty-seven years old. <laughs> but he's gonna go over there, and he's gonna help my son do a few more things. He needs. My son lives in an older house, and none of the doorknobs work, and they're all real old and antique, and you can't find hardly things to make him work, so he's going to have to go over there and replace the doorknobs, and he didn't have the equipment to do it, you know, he's got these little drill things, I know you guys that work with stuff, you know what I'm talking about, they're like big old drill bits or something that can drill holes into doors, and uh, so he's going to take that up there, and uh, I think he really enjoyed himself up there, even though he about killed himself. James is not, uh, since his heart surgery, James has not, you know, he used to be so active, he never would sit down and, you know, he just couldn't stay still. But since his heart surgery, he's really slowed down and uh, he's, uh, you know, He's just not used to the physical labor that he used to be able to do. And we've both gained so much weight that uh, I was looking at myself today and said, Oh my God, what am I going to do about myself? I've gained so much weight and I, I mean, everything I wear looks awful. I look awful. I want to do something about it. I don't know. I just, I, I'm going back from James to me. And James is the same way. We both want to lose weight, but it's like we don't have the willpower to do it. We just can't do it. I don't, I don't want this. I told James it's because we're out. <laughs> but anyway, James is going to, he really enjoyed himself, but he killed himself up there. Working out in that hot sun. He got so burnt and worried Joshua to death. And... Still didn't get his garage door fixed. Joshua had to get people to come in to fix his garage doors. But James really liked going over and sitting there saying, We're thinking about if 
James ever retires of trying to get a camper or a 30 foot camper or something and going over there to uh, spend some time with him, maybe get a little lot or something. I don't know what we're going to do, but uh, we definitely want to be closer to Joshua. He's been gone from my home now for, he'll be 32 his birthday. He'll be 32, yeah. And he's been gone from our house since he was 17 years old. Well, he's almost 18, but. And he's, the only time he's ever only been back home for six months at one time. And look at that camera, golly, Nance. Six months at one time, and then he got laid off from a job in Atlanta, Georgia, and he was at our home for four or five months. And besides that, in the last 15 years, Joshua has been away from home. And we barely get to see him very often, and of course I miss him terribly. And James does too, as James is getting older, you know. And so we're going to try to get closer to him somehow. We don't want to sell the house. This is when James retires, if he can retire. I mean, he wants to go back to work, and he wants to work a few more years, but uh, eventually, when he retires, we don't want to sell our home because that really is the only asset we have, but we do want to get something that um, close to him that we could, uh, and then if he ever moved, we could move with him. You know what I mean? Um, if we had a 30-foot travel trailer. So that's what we've been thinking. I think we'll go next week. Of course, we don't, we're not going to buy anything until James goes back to work. But uh, I think we're going to go next week just to see what they're like. And uh, So that's what we've been doing. Um, really nothing. Same old, same old. I've been trying to do a few little bit of jewelry. I have a couple pieces I need to get out in the mail to birthday people and um, so I've been doing that and <laughs> not much anything really can't get my camera straight golly nuts <laughs> but uh, anyway I'm this is going I'm gonna go um, so I can get on to my errands and get my things done so I can get home and do the things I need to do at the house all right, so that's about it. This is Melissa reporting from out of the holler. Bye, everybody. <laughs>